Good evening, everybody. What a great honor and privilege it is to be here today. As I stand before you here today on the eve of my 70th birthday, I'm just overwhelmed with joy. And this joy comes from seeing the 100 men hall rise like the phoenix from the years of neglect and the ravages of hurricanes and storms to become the shining star of the Gulf Coast, something we all can be proud of forever. My thanks to all the dedicated people of the Mississippi Blues Trail, and especially the Kennedy and Jesse Boyer, who have worked so assiduously and tirelessly to achieve the goal of the Renaissance of this magnificent structure. But this is not an ordinary building. This place has a unique history of the evolution of jazz, gospel, blues, and rhythm and blues music. The music that is the only true American music. The music that transcends race, class, culture, gender, disabilities, everything you can think of. The music that's a part of our everyday lives. The music that all of us love so dearly. And as I stand here today, I feel the spirits of my ancestors arising from the hall and permeating my soul. For I am a part of this history. I can still remember the gigs we played here as Deacon John and the Ivers, back in such stars as Ted Taylor, Earl King, Solomon Burke, Venice Bellman, Herman Thomas, Ernie Cato, Lee Dorsey, Big Joe Turner, Danny White and the Cavaliers, Diamond Joe from Tiffalo, Jerry Butler and the Impressions, and many, many of the great artists of the 50s and 60s. And furthermore, I am just elated to see that the blues is all right. When I look at when I look at these fine young musicians who have gathered here today to perform for you, Mississippi's family of the blues, the homemade jazz blues band, I know that the blues will live on. These cats are our future, and there are many, many more of these from all races that are rising today. People we all can be proud of. Bye-bye. 